Welcome to the overview video on the settings menu creator update version 1.1. I'll be going over the major features only, but for additional information, you can always check out the changelog files as well as the asset store pages. All right, let's start by going to tools, Citrion, settings menu creator, manager, which is always the main hub and starting point for a new menu. There's additional information to get you started quicker, hopefully. Um, on this welcome page now sample page a little bit of uh, improvement here and i added uh, information at the top of each of the tabs so you know what it is about the research generator as well has information here we'll go back to that in a second for the documentation tab um, i added this inspector documentation explanation here which i'll show you in a second but essentially this is inline documentation that you can expand and read through for each of the scripts that is for model behaviors as well as scriptable objects. Um, support, I don't think anything changed and I added this uninstall tab for convenience purposes because in case you don't know, um, my asset consists of packages, quite a few of them and removing it uh, requires you to go to the package manager and click off the pack on the packages and remove them one by one, resulting in a compilation error, compilation errors during the process. Uh, to avoid that, you can use uh, the uninstall tab, which is much, fa much faster and result in no errors if you don't have the um, demo or integrations folder in your project, which you can remove from the assets directory. If you do get errors, try to clear them if they go away. Uh, you're good to go. If not, please get in touch with me. All right, let's go to the research generator and create a new profile. I created this temporary folder. And let me quickly change this for demonstration purposes and go with rounded corners input elements. Uh, you can also use this question mark here. And you can see a lot of information that you can read through. Let's generate our menu resources. Um, now what's new here is, um, it will also generate an additional menu layout prefab that's not in use right now, but you can by simply going to your settings menu prefab or on the one in the, uh, scene, if you created one and replace this by just dragging and dropping that in. So what's the difference, uh, here, this actually contains we go to the scene view now this may look uh, weird so that is based on the uh, game view here so you want to change this to full hd and wait for it to update nothing i can change about the speed here that's uh, just all unity but what you see here is pretty much what you get in the resulting menu at runtime except maybe for the um, scroll bars here on the sides now this is using the new edit mode compatibility for style profile. Previously, you were only uh, able to use and update um, the style profile uh, changes at runtime, but now you can make them at edit mode. So I can change the background color here and I don't know, primary image here. So you can change everything uh, during edit mode and you don't have to switch between play mode and edit mode. Um, this will, however, update uh, parts of your prefab. So in case you want to have a more clean uh, prefab structure, uh, you may want to not use this, but you can always use both. You can um, test things here and then go back to the runtime prefab and we'll have everything added while testing um, style profile changes on the one that contains um, the elements. Now let's take a look at this one here, which I improved slightly. So uh, this is, uh, in case you don't know, used to essentially generate this prefab or update an existing one. So for example, um, let's open this one and delete a few elements here. So delete this and now it's more or less empty and save it and go on this one. 
I want to modify this and I don't want to create a new variant. Uh, instead, I want to update the existing one, update, and we have our elements uh, based on the settings collection reference uh, added back to our prefab. So that's another workflow that you can decide to use if that's more in line what you want to use. Um, yeah, edit mode style profile support uh, is coming in version 1.1, this version. Uh, what else? Uh, show another example on the question mark is here. So on the scripts and uh, scripted objects, you have this overview section at the top explaining what the script is about. And then for each of the fields, you have additional information. Maybe that uh, allows you to open the documentation less frequently, less frequently because you have inline documentation for everything you need here. Uh, other than that, package uh, project settings, maybe uh, just a general information. The asset is fully compatible with the enter play mode options, uh, which allows you to enter play mode super quickly. You can see I can switch back and forth because scripts don't need to recompile uh, when you enter play mode. So that allows you to iterate much more quickly. So in case your project is compatible, for other assets you have imported and your own code, you can enable this and uh, increase efficiency for your workflow. Uh, all right, lastly, let's remove the asset from the uninstalled path. You can ignore this. This is just a Unity UI toolkit issue. It doesn't affect anything and I can't change anything about it. Um, all right, let's first remove uh, the folder and let me manually delete the temporary folder remove that don't save and uh, select all remove selected it will show which packages in this case all of them will be removed we can remove them and wait a few seconds for the recompile to happen and then you have a clean project again I hope that uh, showed everything. In case you have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out to me. I uh, hope you like the asset and the new update. See you soon.